Hi, Dan. Good to see you. Hi, Thanks Dan. very much for joining us uh, today. Good stuff. Good, be, good to be back. <laughs> uh, we're, we're on the run-in to the conclusion of the Pro 14. Uh, with Ulster's destiny very much still in their own hands, how confident are you of delivering a place in the final? I think the way the way we've got to uh, um, approach it, Stephen, is that uh, um, we've got five, five games um, finishing out this 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 section of the of the competition, and you know re really we need to uh, win them all and probably with bonus points. So um, that narrows the narrows the mind, it narrows the focus to to to, to each game, and and. As as cliched as it is, that that's what we have to do. Like when we go to Glasgow this weekend, we have to focus on them. We have to focus on what they're going to offer. Um, understand that we'll be uh, playing the first game that we played for for five weeks. That we're going to be playing on an artificial surface. We're going to be playing on a a team that's well capable of uh, of. Uh, uh, producing top quality rugby and very dangerous. Um, if we take our our mind off what's what's directly in front of us, or or at least where our feet are, um, it, it becomes a difficult proposition. So, you know, we we put ourselves in a good position to be able to uh, um, uh, make an attempt for the final. Um, but it's it's no more than that. It's it, it's a good position. Thank you. Hi, Dan. Good to see you again. Um, Hi, Adam. You, you mentioned there are obviously no games for five weeks. is quite a long layoff compared to some of the other teams in, in the Pro 14. What have your thoughts sort of been on or during that break and how much did going down to the Ireland camp with the boys uh, help you guys? Good, good question. Um, like... You, you know, you could you could look at it and say it's not ideal having a, a five week break, and that our um, our reward for for being the only team in Europe to fulfil all its fixtures uh, was was not playing for a, a big break or, or or a long time. And you know, th there is no doubt that you can lose cohesion uh, in that time. Um, but but you can also look on the positives. Um, you know, at, at the end of eighteen games um, played in in under five months, um, you know, we we needed a break. You know, we needed to be able to uh, um, uh, allow the, the 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 bodies to regenerate, um, and and also to give us a little bit of a different focus. So we went away and we we. We we uh, we looked at the fundamentals of our game and and, and it allowed the guys who are uh, who are with us and, and and fit a lot of whom are the the younger fellas um, uh, to 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 focus on that um, which is great in the middle of that you know we've had uh, um, a couple of sessions that have, have have meant we've raised the the intensity on a physical level um, in order to to compensate for for the lack of. Um, uh, games that we've had in that period, one of which was the the session down in in Dublin at the HPC, which uh, um, Andy um, um, uh, kindly invited us down there, and and that that was a terrific day, it was a terrific day of learning uh, for us against uh, um, the best players in in Ireland. Hi hey Dan. Um, we got the injury update earlier, um, and Jade of Stockdale's name was on it. Obviously, he's been out longer than sort of first thought or expected. Um, has it just been worse than was first fear? Has there been a setback? And, and how close is Jade of getting back? No, look, the, the 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 medics are dealing with his his knee, and obviously you you, uh, you deal with each case as it uh, as it comes along, and and you know he he's been making really good progress, and you know uh, um, the. The, the bottom line is you don't uh, you don't bring back players before they're before they're ready. Um, so we've got to make sure that he's ready. He's not too far away. Hi Dan, uh, Stephen here again. A, a two-part question. Um, w what have you made of some of the criticism that Billy Burns ha has taken um, in his performances in an Irish shirt? And the second part of the question is: Do you think John Cooney's been slightly hard done by by Ireland? Look, uh, uh, John and Billy are, um, are brilliant players for us, um, and and have done brilliant jobs. Um, I I don't sit in uh, as far as the selection is concerned. I don't sit in Andy Farrell's shoes. I don't understand uh, the nuances of uh, uh, every bit of the way they want to play. Um, I know that uh, um, when both of those guys pull on an Ireland jersey, they put everything into it and 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 perform very well for their country. Um, um, 
of course they of course they want to play but there's a lot of competition out there you know you, you, you know selection isn't done in a a, a one person scenario it's, it's done in a very wide context which includes the team and, and what they feel needs to fit into their team as well um, in terms of the criticism of, of Billy um, and you know the but Billy made a mistake at the end of the game um, he, he obviously didn't want to do that um, but uh, um, you know the top players in the world made that mistake. You know it's uh, um, and and you know he, he he'll he'll learn from that. Um, I admire the fact that he's uh, he he's gutsy. You know he's got the temperament to be able to um, go for it at that level, um, and it didn't come off. And you know uh, the decision making around that he'll he'll learn from. Um, I think that, that in terms of the criticism. Um, it's very it's very easy to sit in uh, uh, at home at, at three o'clock uh, uh, in the morning in front of your uh, in, in front of your com computer screen and and vilify people who uh, um, are in the arena. Um, you know that it doesn't take much guts to do that, um, and and some some of it is uh, is is totally unnecessary. You know, it's uh, that's that's the bottom line. You know, it's uh, but Billy's. Uh, um, a human being like the rest of us, um, and you know, he, he's, a, he's a very resilient human being. Um, um, and as I said, he's a very gutsy human being. But he, you know, some of the stuff that was written there, you don't treat other people like that. Is 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 the bottom line. Um, so, uh, uh, luck, luckily, luckily enough, <laughs> Billy's smart enough to ignore people like that. Thank you. Turning to this weekend and heading over to Glasgow, um, what are your thoughts going into that game and the potential of coming up against someone who you signed for next season and Leonie Nakarao? Yeah, ra rather not, Adam, to be honest. Um, like Le Leonie's obviously a game-breaker. Um, I know him really well from having coached him at, at, uh, at Glasgow. Um, so uh, you know it's it is exciting, obviously, to be uh, to be on the on 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 the field when uh, when he's playing. Um, but there's there's so much more to their game as well. Like uh, you, we 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 know what Glasgow have been like over the last number of years. They're 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 a very proud team. They play with a lot of physicality. They play with a lot of intensity. Um, um, you know they play a slightly different way under under Danny Wilson, but none of the intensity has been lost. Um, and they've got some uh, they, they've got some people in that team who they, they bleed for their club um, the likes of Peter Horn and Ryan Wilson and, and Rob Harley and you know I'm, I'm only naming three of the more senior guys there but you know they're, they're very proud of uh, of the club they play for and and you know as I say they they've, they've bled for and sweated for that club um, over the last number of years um, and you know that that is a pretty intense place to go and and, and have to play. Um, so we're 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 looking really looking forward to a, a a great challenge over there this weekend. Another injury question from me. You'll be glad to hear. Um, a couple of those names have been on the list a long time. Will Allison, Robert Balakoon, um, is there any chance we'll see those two before the end of the season? Even for the uh, yeah, I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, I would I would hope so. Um, you know, Robert's uh, Robert's coming along well. Um, and uh, um, you know he had a, 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 a setback from his original injury, which was his hamstring avulsion, um, and was literally on the verge of coming back uh, when he had a syndesmosis injury. Um, so you know he's he, he's making really good progress. He's 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 training at the moment, um, um, but uh, again we're you know we're. we're we needing to make sure that he's in a good place before he comes back. Um, Will Will's injury is uh, um, obviously a, a very complicated one, um, and uh, he's uh, um, you know he had surgery on it um, and and is making good progress now. Um, but you know the, the he he hasn't been out uh, training for uh, a long time, and it means that. Um, um, his reintroduction and the process that he goes through uh, need, needs to be a, a very careful one um, that is that is planned um, precisely um, and, and, and followed through and you know we're lucky here that we we have an excellent medical performance staff who, who work very closely with the uh, um, athletic performance staff at this stage in the 
uh, and the re in the return to play process um, and as it progresses along um, over the next uh, um, couple of months the 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 rugby department will become involved in that. Well, they're already involved in Will's skill work and stuff like that, but they'll be they'll be involved in reintegrating him into training as soon as we can get him back. But um, you know, we would we would hope for for Will's sake, who who obviously is desperate to play, that uh, that that he'll be back before the end of the season.